Hey guys, Quibal here. So, um, let's see, testing out, uh, well I got an upgrade actually on my hardware a little bit. Got a new microphone, so hopefully the audio is better. Um, today I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a few recordings actually today. First one is just to get the uh, my dailies. Oh, actually wait, let me check my deck. Um, oh yeah, I was trying out this aggro deck with Fulgrim. I'll switch back to my changers deck. I want to complete the dailies fast and then start um, recording uh, recording some battles for the event. And look what we have. LCFR, one of the top players. Um, the best Lucius player I've seen. So this is... I think I'm at a 50% win rate against him. I, I, I kind of lost track, but we'll see. Lucius with Lucius. Gotta be careful with Lucius and play a little differently. Let's aggro him. This is a changer's deck, so normally I wouldn't attack yet, I would just use my ability. So let's see. Okay, we're going to actually, yeah, if we aggro him, what can he do? Can he kill us? What does he, can he, does he have anything that can kill this stealth unit? Ideally, I don't think he can. And I know that he has, I believe he has a stealth or two unit or two, so let's keep it. Playing that on a turn three means he's got a bad hand. <laughs> Things are not working out for him. So, what we can do. Make it tougher for him. So we have an 11 point lead and we have the board. So this is make, well I mean the board he can always clear, right? It's Lucius, he can just increase his attack and then just clear the board except for my stealth unit. So what do we want to do here? I want to, do I want to save this for his face? No, let's draw two cards. Ah, uh, I was hoping for a two drop. Um, okay, that's not bad. The removal. I don't know if he has any big units for us to remove, but... There's a stealth unit. Hmm. Is there anything we can do? Doesn't help much. E six and eight. Does not help much at all. Yeah. Next turn we have seven. 
So with 7 I could play gold stones and this, dealing 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 2, 10. Doesn't look like I'll be able to attack myself, so that's 10 damage. But do I want to do that? I'm going to remove this first. We have five life ahead of him. He could add three. Mm. So we do have something for this. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. Okay, well, eighteen life. He can add four, so that would be six damage. So we have lethal now, that's if he doesn't do anything. Oof. That's okay, we still have lethal. With or without it. <laughs> so, part of the Excalibur Lodge, that's one of the top lodges, um, if not the top, so very dangerous, very dangerous player. So, let's see, Lank taking my third place spot. Asked him to join my lodge earlier today. Unfortunately, he already found one before I asked, so it's okay. Maybe next time. Ooh, hold at all costs. This is a must keep at all times. This card is valuable. And this is good for turn three. So, plan is turn two, I'm gonna probably just use my ability, turn three, throw him out, and see what happens. So, we're playing, we're against Bile. I don't really see a lot of Bile, uh, Fabius Bile in the, on the ladder, but. We have to remember that it's dangerous to allow him to keep his troops on the board. So we're going to try to remove it when we can. And as long as we control his board, I don't think he can really do much. His ability basically becomes useless. He needs somebody to enhance. 
Um, okay, let's see what do we got. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this is probably the best. I could use these two, these two guys to attack, and but same thing. Is it the same? I would have a three-one available, or I would have had another and a draw card. Okay, stealth. Oh, perfect timing. Now is he going to be able to remove it? We have five. I will do this. Normally, actually, I should have attacked and draw the card first, so I kind of know what I'm dealing with. Oh, nice. This is coming along fine. So if he doesn't come out now, we'll force him out. Of course, that requires... That's assuming he doesn't um, kill my guy somehow. So, yeah. Okay, I think it's time to do it. Uh, Not done yet. <laughs> That's okay, he can boost that. I mean, it helps his troops. Yes, we want to destroy it, but I mean, it can't attack itself. Oh. Ouch. We got another one. But do I want to use it yet? Okay, not yet. Like I said, we need to remove his unit so then he can't boost anyone. Well, he'll boost the one he plays, but it'll cost. You'll have to save two energies for that. Yes. Nice. Huh. Okay. Didn't kill the um, the squad that I wanted, so he's gonna remove changers for sure. So that means we have no more changers in our deck. But that's okay. I think we can still finish this just going aggro and using the units that we have. And if there's any unit that kind of gets out of hand, we can always use Malkador. Huh, funny, you didn't kill the changer. I think that was a mistake on his part. Interesting. 
So who do we want to remove? I think this. So this gives me cleave two, which is perfect for. Ah, they're gonna die. Anyway, so they're gonna die. Let's make use of the cleave. That's just attack. We have pride, so and we have the bike, so let's just attack. I'm going to send somebody back. Who will depend on? Ah, uh, actually, Melchior is not bad. Alcatraz, not bad. And I can save this for next time. Three, oh no, two. I can use his ability. Okay. This is why I added Rotau in the in, in my deck. Um, recent modification. Um, it stealth. It can reveal stealth, so this is good against um, Raven guards. I was having some trouble with Cor Corvus recently, so good against Raven guard. Plus, also his ability you can use at any time, whether you have a stealth unit to reveal or not, which costs one energy, and that's perfect with the Emperor's Children's deck because it allows you to trigger perfection when you need when you have one energy too much too many right so that's why oh no what did I do anyways it doesn't matter it's like two degree legion dragon cow also one of the top the top uh, lodges if you want to take a look so they're six, they're top, and Excalibur is second, so yeah. So if you're looking for a lodge, these are the top lodges to try to get into. Hmm. Just checking my Discord, see if there's anything new. <laughs> so I just found out that Excalibur is the one who recruited Lank the person I was trying to recruit. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, I am so... Every time I see this, draw this card, I'm so happy. <laughs> So with Karn, I could aggro him, and yeah, I think I will.
Let me see. So we have four energy. We potentially can add two more. It's making it six. Uh, three, four, five. That's using up all of my cards, which is okay, I guess. Wait, I didn't think this through. <laughs> yeah, I did not think this through. Ah, uh, that's alright. Let's get rid of this. Yes. Okay. 10 life over Karn. Nine. Hmm. So next turn is turn five. We could use these two. See what we draw. Oh, that doesn't work. Actually, yes, it does. No, that doesn't. <laughs> I was trying to use this ability when we I have zero cards. That would allow me to draw five cards as well but that's so hard to use um so what am i gonna do what am i gonna do nah maybe next time Uh, I need more cards. Playing a little careless because it's a bot. Not thinking too hard. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Reduce it. Alright. And I think we got it. Draw five cards. Oof. This is so good. I got I got lethal. Five and five makes ten. Yeah. So this this changers deck you can also you remember that you know you have a lot of aggressive fast units as well. So it can be an aggro deck when you want it to be, when you know, changes are not coming. I don't think I got my dailies done yet, right? I'm still missing a few wins. Herbus. I remember this name. Erlen. So Erlen is one of the world leaders that I do not aggro. <laughs> and in this case... He's drawing. I do not aggro. I want to... I want to have as much life as I can. First, draw a card first. Okay, we're gonna we have four life only more than him. Okay, he's not gonna bring someone out, he's gonna use his ability. That makes it Okay, that's fine. Nah. We have seven cards. He's gonna try to kill this somehow. Seven cards. Seven cards. Is that good? We're gonna draw one eight. 
use a Ford Lens for reduce the cost of eight cards. Well, actually, it's seven because it won't affect this Whisper card. Save this for changers. Um, he probably doesn't have any stealth units. I don't want to be left too far behind in terms of life. So let's keep it close. So we're at 20. Okay. I'm an idiot. I should have put it on him, and then he would survive the attack and be a threat requiring that he attacks again. Will he kill this guy? But now. Yeah. Three life difference. I have two units on the board. Hmm. He has some a few aggro cards for sure. It's time to use changers, or it's gonna get too close. We have seven. Okay, three. Okay, use both of his. Alpha, which means hmm. which means he can't unstun, right? Because he used both of these. Um, come on, kill them. Oh, come on. What are the odds of him bringing this back? I'll have to risk it. I suppose. He's gonna kill this changer, probably. Or just go face, if he's ready to kill me. I'll have eight, I oh know, I'll have six energy, the changer's costing two to maintain. So with six energy, what can I do? Reduce three, four, five, six, or six. Okay, cleave. Mm. This or that? Probably Malvator. So, 10 life, not good. Not looking good, and we don't have. I think I need to play this actually. I will need 
to stun him next turn. He can use his ability, I will have 7 life. What can he? He probably, with 9 energy, he's, well, 7 without his ability use. He can definitely do 7 damage. So I think we lost. So this can do 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. So he's at 6, but I think we lost already. Yeah, there you go, 7. Good job. Assassin Orum. Okay. We need two more. Let's go. Tarek. Tarek is another one where I don't aggro because he's aggressive normally. Um, I want to force him to deal the 40 damage. Two of them key cards. I'm going to remove that. No card draw for you. Wow, okay, I'm gonna have to sacrifice him. Again, Tarek is quite dangerous. He's aggressive, so if he gets that 6 damage in, could be more if he actually boosts his troop. So we wanna remove it. Okay. He can use his ability to draw a card, that's okay, I don't mind. I get a card as well. So if I count, I have three, six, seven cards in hand. This will give me one, eight, and I'll draw one, nine. I think that's good for reducing the cost. I don't mind if he attacks. It gets poison. Like poison units, when they attack on their turn, you still have a turn to act, right? The problem is if you attack on your turn, then you just suddenly die at the end of your turn. Okay, so he's not attacking. He's, he knows. So he's already ahead of me. Ah, I was hoping for the cleave. <laughs> well, I have the cleave here actually. Uh. I'm using a lot of cards just because I feel like you know, he's going aggro, I need to somewhat be aggressive to fight back. 
I can't really wait for changers. I'm not sure when they'll come. This kind of forces them to have to deal with the board, right? And like remove his focus away from dealing damage to my face, or my warlord at least. I have eight here. Let's see what comes out. Hmm. He's trying to take back the board. Okay, draw. We're gonna stun, and we're not. Are we going to attack? We're gonna have nine. Nine. I could use the ability next turn and then try. Twenty. That's a lot of energy. Dangerous to attack. So let's hold off. Oh, so dangerous. Hmm. Can't use pride, can I? I can use this. You'll copy that. Come on, I really need to like. I have to stun this guy. I think now it's going to be a race. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill the demon. Now I'm going to have to sacrifice this to kill the demon. Okay. So now I have 6 damage, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's got some. He's got 10. He can do 20. He can have 20 energy while removing the 4 from hold at all costs. So 16 energy. Pretty sure he can do a lot with 16 energy. Oh, and he's gonna stun me. Okay, of course. Yes. So now, 10 more energy. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be close. And he's going wide. Huh. And he's going wide. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So he would have lethal if he had um, vengeful spirit in his hands. Which means I'm gonna have to kill Mal Malakers. But by killing Malakers, I think he has no. He has pride. Oh my God, he has pride. That's right. I forgot. He has pride. I gave him pride. 8 plus 7 is 15. Okay. I think we lost this one because he stunned me.
Come on, we just need two more. Terrific. Let's go aggro this time. Normally I wouldn't against Tarek, but would I have in the past sometimes. Let's do this draw card. Let's play this, play that, draw more cards. Going to okay, five energy. What are we gonna do? I like to draw two cards and then reduce the cost of them. Play this shield, huh? That could work. Play this. Oh, shield, I can't use it on a machine. Mm hmm. Then, we'll just remove that. Turn six. We might actually use pride on turn six. as a way of drawing a card and dealing damage at the same time. I'm not surprised he didn't use his ability to like okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what we draw. I think I will still use this. You can reduce the cost of everything. Seven energy. energy. Two there. We have five left. Could use pride again. Could use both squads. But I think it's time to use to bring this out.
kill it, kill it. Oh man, come on. Kill it. Yes. So I think it's actually better to aggro Tarek. Because then he doesn't have the energy to do all the stuff that he wants to do. Like bring out Malagurs and Vengeful Spirits. Sons of Horrors don't really have much healing, so... When he's down this much... I don't think he can deal 17 damage with 7 energy. Which means he has to remove my board to stand, to have a chance. He knows I have Pride in hand, which deals 6, so... I have Lethal either way. Changer's deck. I really don't feel that Tarek having changers is a really good use. It just costs too much. Changers cost four, and like he has two to maintain. So. You have. Not. <laughs> oh, four, two, okay. Okay, one more, guys, we're done. And then I'll go into the event on another video. Possibly starting next, well, later this week maybe. I'm gonna try to build a, play around with the Iron Warriors a bit. Perturables, I have Perturable. Maybe try to build a deck with him. I think Stealth would be a good deck with Iron Warriors, at least with Perturable. His his Wrath card and all the uh, Bloodlust enabling cards with Stealth would be quite powerful. Uh, yeah, let's keep this. I'm against a bot, okay. So, against a bot. Having two tactical brilliance in hand is okay. Just lacking of minion uh, troops. Okay, let's draw. Let's draw some more. Uh, not really sure I like that. Let's draw some more. Okay. We have nine cards, but this would only reduce five of them.
think we'll do this. And I'll just add another card draw. I'll just attack this. Well, okay, cleared the board. So I think he's gonna attack me anyways, and then I'll use my Longinus. Yes. To draw two cards. Um Draw two more cards. Three, six, nine, ten. Yes. Oh, did I miscount that? Yeah. And then we'll reduce the cost of all cards. He's winning in life, so let's not attack. I still don't have changers. Hmm. How many cards have I left? Thirteen. So it has happened once where <laughs> I went down to the last two cards and I still haven't pulled changers. So they were the last two cards in my deck. Oh. Yes. I'm gonna do, uh, wait, three, six, nine. Okay. It would. Done when you can. So they're probably going to trade. Or not. So he's, he has more than 7 energy now, so I have to remember that he could have Pride of the Emperor in hand and deal 7 damage. I need to be aware of that. Okay, um, let's see. Wow, if only I had changers right now. Where are you? I need you. I'm going to send him. Back up. So this is close. I don't want to attack. Probably could have done more damage if I use hold at all costs now and just go aggro. Um, but there they are. Eight cards left. Okay. Time to go. Four, five, six, seven. Reduce this by one. I need three. With this is enough. Um... Who do I want to bring back? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Game is over anyways. I don't think I even need Could have used all my cards, but yeah. But that was a bot, right? So we kind of expected the win, though it was close. So 
So that's what I got. Okay. So dailies are done. My rank actually went down a little bit. Could fight to go back up to third. I don't think I'll try for second. Too much time required. Yeah, later. Alright, cool. Hope you enjoyed.